I'm David. I'm a student here at Waynesburg University. Uh, in my third year, I'm a computer science major, and I'm a ham boy. How did the club start? Um, it started back in 93, I believe, by a man named Samuel Hamilton. People call him Sam Ham for short. He was just a regular college student, just like we are, and I think it really started as more of a, like a statement. I think it's because in high school, I was never really a part of something. I never really felt like I belonged. Uh, I wasn't an outcast, per se, but I, I played sports and stuff, but I never really fit in. So when I came to school, it was kind of the same way for a while. Uh, I didn't have a lot of friends. I didn't really fit in, just like high school all over again. But I'll never forget it. One day, I, I walked out of the cafeteria, and this guy approached me, and he was, he was holding this piece of ham, just like this. And he asked me if I'd ever heard of the Ham Boys. And I didn't know what that was, and he explained it to me, and uh, it sounded so radical and awesome, and I was hooked. Ham boy. What's up, ham boy? Need a refill day? Yeah, ham day. Uh, how I joined Hamboys, jeez. Um, it's actually a pretty funny story. I was raised by a very strict Jewish family, a Hasidic Jew family. And uh, during my bar mitzvah, I was really like a rebellious and moody teenager, and I got my first taste of pork products. It was, it was bacon, but I mean, it was still pork. And uh, I, don't know, I just found that like, it was edgy, so I got into like punk rock and pork. And uh, when I went to college, I was still kind of little less mature than I am now. And so I was looking at like things to join. I saw ham boys and I was like, this is what I want. And uh, so I really didn't know a lot about the club, but I joined and I saw it and I was like, this is the act of rebellion I'm going for. But then as I progressed up my levels of ham boys, I'm now the chapter head of ham boys. Um, God rest the soul of uh, the guy who's before me. But as I progressed, I just found out that Ham Boys is about so much more than just carrying around a piece of ham or just being different. It's, it's really a true statement. I love that, yeah. Uh... I've actually, I've never used, I've never used the, like the grate in the metal pan before. Oh, yeah. I've only, yeah. See, I always buy pre You gotta learn how to make your own. Really doesn't matter. We have a, as far as Ham Boys goes, we have a weekly meeting. Uh, it's actually pretty soon, uh, just to cover what we need yeah, to do and just really refocus on why we're carrying uh, the ham. The only thing is, though, we need someone to bring in their little roaster so we can heat them up for the homeless, because nothing's worse. I mean, I like it, but nothing's worse than cold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I just saw like a group of guys like sitting around in a circle just discussing something about ham. I, they all had ham in their hands, and I... I don't know what that's all about, but it seems interesting. <laughs> People have been telling me my whole life what to do, where to go, and what to say, and then finally I come here and I join this club, and that was my decision, and it felt like I was actually doing something uh, for myself, you know, something good for me for once. No, like that, and that, that's the thing about ham boys. Like a lot of people, they'll never, they'll never understand why we carry the hammer, like why we go to meetings, why we do all this stuff. And like a lot of times, like some people will try and slap our hand out of our hand. I mean, don't do that. Bad, bad don't idea. Do that. Um, but even like, let's say in the hypothetical situation I was to drop my ham, like the message would still, it'd still be with me. Like I'm a ham boy and nothing, nothing can change that. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. I might never have met Nate if I wasn't a ham boy, you know? All my friends are ham boys. Yeah. It's a lifestyle. It's true.